All right, what's happening, folks? Welcome back. There's been a couple more active killer incidents around the United States, and what I don't want to do anymore is every time one of these sicko whack jobs goes off and kills a bunch of people, I don't want to give them the airtime. I don't want to give them the attention. It seems like uh, as the media perpetuates that, it seems to make it worse as copycat crimes come up. So I'm not going to celebrate the mentally unstable. Instead, what I want to do is encourage all of you guys to do five different things that can help us truly in making the world a safer place because warrior poets, that's kind of our big deal. Let's make the world better, you and I. And so here's five things that you and I can do at our level to absolutely make a difference. All right, the very first thing is I need you to carry every day, everywhere you go. It doesn't count when you're leaving it at your house, in your gun safe, in your car doesn't matter. We have to play zone more than ever. And so if there's a bunch of you guys, we're out trooping the area all around the country. So when one of these things happen and you're on the X, you'll be able to eliminate that immediately. Now, as I meet folks out and about, it's always awesome when, when to see our society growing. And so when people recognize me out and about in public, hey, Warrior Poet Society, I'll meet. I'm always thrilled to meet folks, but I'll challenge you with this. So make sure if you ever run into me, Man, you gotta be carrying, because I'll ask you, point blank, are you carrying? And it doesn't count when you got it somewhere else. We gotta carry, guys. I'll also just throw this out without going too deeply into this. I think it's 92, 94, or 96% of all these gun shootings and stuff that are happening, and they're happening in gun-free zones, all the active killer events. So sort that into your calculus. There's the legal, there's the moral, and I know personally I am called to be a protector. And if something went down and I could have, should have been able to prevent it, but I wasn't carrying, I don't think the blood would ever wash off my hands from that one. I'm built, I am called by God and built to be a protector of the innocent. And so that's how I roll, right? All right, the second thing, I, I'm still a little shaky on, I don't know the best way to go about it, but it goes something like this, either troll media outlets or just unfollow media outlets that are taking these active killer whack jobs and glamorizing them, telling their name and showing their picture and their little manifestos and all their little sicko crazy backstories in life. That's inspiring copycats. It's literally causing people to die. So make sure you either troll those outlets in some way of being like, hey, in publicizing all this, you're drawing positive attention to these people who want that infamy and you're inspiring copycats. You're literally killing people when you share those stories. So either unfollow or troll, and I'm not really sure which the best one is. The third thing in our list is we need to learn, learn how these guys think, when, where, and how they attack the best courses of action that we could take if we were on the X or people that we love. Some neat resources. One is Department of Homeland Security has their a pretty standardized idea of, hey, the run, hide, fight, check that out. That's a free resource you can get online. A second thing, if you're interested in church security, know that we put out a pretty big production where it's a 12-part video series, a how-to of church security. If you didn't check that out, I'll provide a link down below in the description. It's completely free for you guys. We wanted to be able to help our churches, those assemblies of worship, and I walk through how to make a detailed church security plan. It's all free for you. A third thing is USCCA's uh, what's the name of the course? It is Countering the Active Shooter. I just went through the course. It's all nice. It comes with a certificate that says I went through this training. So that's pretty cool. So as somebody who speaks on active killer response, maybe you do it at your church or your school or something like that. If you're talking about it, make sure you have a credential that backs up. So if you ever go to court over something, you can drag a huge institution in behind you. And it's nice to always have a love me credential. It was like, man, yep. Uh, active killer response uh, instruction, pretty good. But from the course, I gleaned a ton of information. I was really doing it more of as a cover my butt mitigation kind of thing where I want the instructor certain, so I collect these just to make sure that I'm safe legally. But then I ended up learning a whole lot. I'll provide links down below. I will warn you that there is a cost to that, but I think it's a good idea. That's why I sought it out in the first place. And I actually learned a lot of really helpful stuff. I didn't see that coming, but anyway, links down below for you. Moving right along, guys. Fourth thing is train. And this is the lower level stuff of just those fundamentals and uh, fast and accurate shooting and all that stuff. But then you want to amp it up and start doing some scenario-based things, some definite force-on-force -force things, some video simulation things, all that stuff of hands-on 
running and gunning, get out, move and do it physically type training. So there's the learning one and point three. Point four is you gotta get out and go do stuff and don't just stop at kind of pistol one, rifle one stuff where it's all just fast and efficient stuff. That's great. It's a check we wanna, uh, uh, basically, it, it's a box we wanna check as we move on to other forms of training that incorporate more stress seeing quick and thinking and problem solving. And the fifth and final one, almost through it, is make sure you're carrying medical on you. I said carry every single day. I am carrying right now my gun. Also, every single day, I did not put this on for the video. Uh, ankle medical kit. Oh, it's beautiful. I forget it's there. No sweat. It's awesome. This is ours. I carry it with me every single day of my life because it's comfortable and that's how I roll. I forget it's there. And so uh, anyway, maybe you have another solution. I also have a lot of stuff in my everyday carry bag. I also have a bunch of stuff in my vehicle and my wife's vehicle. And so I've always got medical around. I think if you're really interested in protecting life and helping people, I think we're probably more likely to rescue people with medical than we are to uh, with a gun. But I carry both because that's how I roll and I like to party. So anyway, guys, these are five things that we can do at our level to absolutely make the world a safer place. Let's focus on being proactive and not just share the stories over and over ad infinitum of the latest sicko whack job. I am tired of that. My thoughts and my prayers are with the victims, but I'm going to do that privately now as just I'm praying people through a lot of really hard times. I'm not, uh, I am definitely, I am definitely sympathetic to the victims, but I'm gonna kind of go dark on this unless I have a reason to go deeper into something like this. Let's focus on the solution uh, and uh, we'll be better for it. Guys, train hard, train smart. We'll see you next time.